Hey folks, I want to talk a little bit about Luke 12 and it's uh, controversial because Jesus is known as the Prince of Peace. Um, for those of you who I identify as the Son of God and for those of us who identify ourselves as the daughters of God, we are Princess of Peace. But remember that God despises evil and he loves all that is good and all that is good is from God so if we are children of God God loves us even though we sin he takes away the dirty clothes after we've been through the fire we are the sticks rescued from the fire and Satan is to the right to the right of whom see it's very vague depending on the translation the Bible that I have is um, Reina Valera and that's uh, from the 1960 and it's translated um, it, well in this the, the Spanish uh, Zechariah 3 it doesn't have the quotation marks that the Lord said the Lord rebuke you, Satan, the, the Lord who chooses Jerusalem rebuke you. And is this not a, a, a stick saved or rescued from, snatched from the fire? It doesn't have that quotation as in a continuous, like who asked that question? It is irrelevant because the question is asked as a, as a, as a, as a reminder to the reader that hey high priest Joshua Yeshua Yeshua the high priest he was filthy because he had gone through the fire remember the fourth man along with the other three in the book of Daniel that were thrown in the fire the righteous men faithful who were thrown in the fire and they nothing happened to them and even though there were only three thrown in the fire the king Nebuchadnezzar could see four and the others witnessed so it's not like a hallucination there was a fourth man so that's the Lord our Savior <clears throat> so through faith when Joshua was standing, this already happened. This already happened. We were lifted up, 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 and into the right. But in the book of Zechariah, Joshua, the, the high priest, is standing in front of the angel of the Lord. The angel of the Lord, the Lord. And Satan to his right. To the right of whom? You see, we went up, up, up to the right. And from the inside, we went into Dalit. Between the three and the four. Okay. The Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem. Jerusalem is also Zion. Zion is... It's also the the mountain. The stone is found in Zion. The mountain comes down. The stone is found by Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel is always with Joshua. Not without, but with. When the Lord told the mountain in Zechariah 4, mountain what are you before the Lord you will become level ground and the mount the mountain just gives gives in because the stone that was laid in Zion was meant to be found because this is the last stone which is also the first for our foundation it's the first stone and then of course Peter's the first stone after that and then the twelfth Remember that at one point there were 11 because the um, 
the betrayer who was the 12th disciple Judas Iscariot he um, was no longer with part of the 12 so Jesus at one point spoke to the 11 and then Paul came along and Paul was completely it turned around a 180 from what he was doing because he was enlightened literally and so we need to understand these things really did happen it already happened life is a cycle okay it's like saying the the blood cell that was how do i put it the blood circulates right the blood is not just the liquid part it's the cells those little cells go back and forth back and forth it's like saying oh but that cell was all that already happened it's going to keep happening it's going to keep happening it's going to keep happening because we are the body of humanity 1000 years is like a day with god and one day is like a thousand years so we can cover a lot of history true history with God because we are flawed without God we can cover a lot of true history by binding our books because we all have limited point of view because of where we were born the language we speak the, everything that 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 uh, helped us to develop as we were growing and developing everything that helped to shape us is also limiting us because we're not God we're, we were not in the spirit we we are bound and we're limited so this is why we have to put our point of view on the table bind our books because the time has come he's gathering his people he's separating us see how this can be simultaneous people this is what I, I I'm, I'm I want you to understand I'm not contradicting myself if you are separating something from that and you're bringing it here and you're gathering it's like you're raking the leaves in the yard you're separating the leaves that are from the grass but you're also gathering the leaves to pick them up so you you're separating the leaves and you're gathering simultaneously what looks like going up is also coming down simultaneously we went up 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 to the right from the inside we went into the left into his into his heart simultaneously what looks like going up is also coming down simultaneously we went into he and he went into us simultaneously that's where our transformation occurred it already happened we were lifted to receive more for our less so that when we come down to detox he's going to destroy the it says that he's going to destroy but he also says that there's going to be a new earth this is the only earth this is the only planet earth so it's just like saying this I'm going to cut all of my hair. I'm going to cut all my hair, but it's going to grow back. Virgin. Does that make sense? The hair is like a plant. It's like that. I'm going to exfoliate my skin. I'm going to exfoliate my skin. And you're going to literally have dead cells on that exfoliation sponge or brush or whatever it, it is. 
and you're going to have no dead cells at that moment. You're going to have new skin revealed. So it's not like we need to think about going to another planet because we're going to have no earth. No. This earth will be destroyed in that the worldly things are going to be destroyed. See, you have to understand that fire is associated with the Holy Spirit. Fire is associated with the heart. Fire is associated with truth, which is associated with the heart, which is associated with fire. The yin and yang is about two opposite forces that coexist because one couldn't be without the other. You couldn't have the light without the dark. Because you would have nothing to compare it to. You, it's like it, it, one has to die for the other one to, to come. The other one has to die for the other one to come. Just like in the Quran or in the Muslim culture, they talk about the night, you know, like the day and the night covering one another. You know, it's like the one covers the other. See how the day and the night are opposite. And in the book of Revelation, it says that there's going to be no, no more night. is because there's going to be no more darkness. Night is associated with darkness. And black is associated with darkness. But we have to understand that this has nothing to do with race. That like the skin color. Because... We could have named it, the color that we use for black, uh, black skin really is not black, it's brown and different shades of brown. We could have said that's chocolate race. Or um, we could have said that's coffee race. And then the people who are white, they're not like white like this shirt. They're different shades of creamy, right? So coffee with milk, and then maybe more milk, maybe more, more milk, but there's still, it's not white. So we could have said, oh, that's a cream colored person. <laughs> you know, but I just want you to understand that the, the darkness and the lightness has nothing to do with race. So we need to not associate that. But no more dark, no more night means no more darkness. As in we're going to be coming out of our dark world. Because Mother Earth is dark. It's a dark world without God's light. When we are born of God... And we are born of his light coming out of our mother's dark womb as in worldly things. Then this transformation occurs simultaneously. I'm going to show you something. Okay. And I don't want you to think I'm flirting with you. This love of God and Jesus. Okay. But when you're birthing a baby, you know, baby's coming down the birth canal. And the baby comes, comes down. But the baby is coming down, but is going to come up. The father is there to catch us when we're born. He's not going to miss the, the birth of his firstborn. The firstborn, the, our new humanity. We are the body. And we ourselves... We are the old humanity, and we're birthing. We're the, the Mother Earth, right? The body of humanity. And we're, we're, we're birthing this baby, you know, and we're laboring, literally. Delivering, because we're delivering the message. We're delivering the deliverer, the deliverer, which will deliver us. Because this new humanity will deliver us from evil from darkness 
Does that make sense? We're delivering the deliverer, which will deliver us. It's like we are birthing ourselves. Simultaneously, we're birthing and being birthed simultaneously. That's, that's how these things can be simultaneously. So when he's div dividing with fire, it's like, yes, our worldly systems are going to be destroyed because what is right is wrong and what is wrong is right, which is right down backward from God. And God is has been patient and has... The, the time has come because it has been written. And it's like God does not fail us. When God says, I'm going to do something, he'll do it. When God says, you know, this is going to happen, it will happen. And remember that a thousand of our years is like one day with God. And one day with God, it's like a thousand years. So we can cover a lot of true history when we bind our books together. And stop arguing about, oh, who's right, or oh, we're right, we're superior, we're a different race, and we are holy, and blah, 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 blah. Just stop it. Just get together. You know, you know, understand that God is separating you from your own so that you can come together as a faithful people and bind your notes and bind your notes so that you can see the bigger picture and understand that, ah, oh, fire is the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. And the old system is going to be gone. And it's going to be like this. It's like, it, because it's, um, the transformation occurs between the three and the four is because the, the, it's like a perception, the, the point of view, right? It's like, you come like this and you're like, oh, oh, I see. That's how it's going to be. Because we're going to have a new mind and a new heart. See, we're going to change our hearts. You know, when people say, oh, I, I had a change of mind or a change of heart. It's because these things are connected. When we, we understand something, it's like, oh, now I understand. And so I, you know, your heart changes too. Okay. So, we have been blinded by worldly lies. And when the, the, the veil is removed, then we will understand. And then we will be transformed and be born as a new humanity. And this in itself will deliver us from evil because being delivered, delivering the deliverer, which will deliver us, is like replacing ourselves we are replacing the new with the old which is the bad does that make sense it's like a nail that's coming in you know you let's say you had a, a an injury and your nail was injured and it's all black and blue and whatever purple and it's um damaged you know, and the doctor says, don't worry, the nail will grow back. So the nail starts growing underneath, but you still have that nail that you cannot pull because it was so far back, you know, so you've got to just let the new one grow. Or when your new tooth comes in, the other one, you know, it's like simultaneously. I would not have been able to explain this to you had I not had helpers. But when I lived on Dove Lane and I felt like an egg that was being fried for whatever reason, you know, with maybe magnets or, or microwaves or, you know, whatever extraterrestrial energies or man-made energies, however you want to look at it, it doesn't matter. The thing is, I was laying there, and I felt Albert Einstein come into me and out, but it was he didn't stay. It was like in and out. And then I received something, and, and I was just like, the next day, I just went to the library, and I was focused. And this is not that I was possessed by the devil. 
God knew that I did not possess the the knowledge nor did I have the experience nor was I in the field to be able to comprehend or even put it out there and when I saw Albert Einstein and President Eisenhower and Mahatma Gandhi they never came into me they, I just saw the three of them together often and sometimes individually but most of the time I saw them together and this is when I was receiving these messages and then I was able to connect the dots like oh and my father put the desire in me to read the book of Revelation he wanted me to read the book of Revelation because the book of Revelation is the last book and the last will be the first because it talks about the new heaven and the new earth the new heaven and the new earth the new heaven and the new earth see heart earth if you take the H which is the last letter and you put it at the end it makes earth heart earth heart earth heart earth hearth means fire with an h at the beginning and an h at the end so I, this is why i think i started misspelling my words because i was able to read things differently i was able to read things from right to left and up Upside down and this is why my father when I stayed with Miss Rosita in Mobile right before I came to Montgomery um, I was doing crossword puzzles and there was one particular crossword puzzle that was a little bit more challenging because I'm uh, I don't really like to do crossword puzzles but I encouraged Alexander to do them because he liked them and I encouraged to him to do what he likes what he's good at and it's a good pastime and so uh, I believe it sharpens the brain. But when I was at Miss Rosita's, I was in the restroom and there was a crossword puzzle thing book. And I was just, you know, determined to, to finish this one particular one. And it was like, Father, please, I cannot miss this last l word. And, and then as soon as I prayed about it, it was like there it was. You know, and I completed that one puzzle. But that's because I was training for something and I called I called James and I had just barely met James but I just I just had a feeling I was just like James for the love of God and Jesus you have got to come and get me I mean I barely knew James but I said you know my father I, there was a diamond in the sky that went by like this and it was not like a like a a, a like a whole the whole thing filled in it was like literally the outline of a diamond that just went by as i was calling james and i and i and and that's what i'm what i'm seeing is the diamond and i'm not talking about an engagement ring i'm talking about the diamond which is our blueprint for all cities in all nations because we are the bride and we we have been lifted it's already happened and we will be coming down with our blueprint and our diamond is a square which is our blueprint for all cities and all nations all of this was revealed to me you know is my 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 um comprehension was catching momentum because i i just was like taking notes taking notes taking notes taking notes and at the time i i didn't fully comprehend why i was taking these notes i was just it was like i saw these people and i felt dr martin luther king's echo and i felt maria montessori to my right and i saw the three in front of me and it was like i was receiving all of this and i could only feel dr martin luther king's echo and for those of you who say, well, that's of Satan, what well, you've received is Satan. It's like, I don't care what people think about me. All I know is that I'm my father's daughter. And you cannot take anything away from me because I've already received. 
and I'm sharing with you what I have received, which is has always been inside of me. And so it's like I it, it's like it was always inside of me. It just needed to come out. It need I needed to declare this truth. When when I lived with Miss Diane Miller, Mr. And Mrs. Miller, I was um you know laying in bed well my father i felt like i was going to have a heart attack i felt like i was going to die because i felt like you know i drank too much coffee i've been working these crazy hours dates days nights nights days just crazy schedule and i haven't been exercising i haven't done tybo in years and i mean i've taken the birth control pill back in my my my, my 20s and 30s and i could have a heart attack this could be the last day I live. I really felt like I was going to die. And I felt like the stress from DHR had exacerbated that. And my father said, calm down. Just like that. My father said, calm down. Lay down. Open your airway. And all I could think of was opening up my airway like when you're going to perform CPR as to save my own life. And so I opened up my jaw like that. And I didn't know why. And then I started feeling, you know, this not feeling but seeing it and feeling it it was like a force and little fireflies you know like fireflies and like a magnetism and the truth was pulled out of me this light that i had seen before came down when i started seeing the fireflies I, lighting you know little lights flickering I couldn't focus and then I started seeing the then I, I focused on the one that started to grow and that's the one that started to grow and so I remember because that's the light that I had seen before which is the light that is brighter than the fire that is he the opening and so this light pulled the truth out of me. It said, declare now. And I did not know what I was going to declare. And it was very, very difficult for me to, to say because I, I, I did not know what I was going to say. And I said, en el nombre de Jesús Cristo, in my native tongue. And then it released me. Because I had declared the truth that needed to come out. And so I had my Bible, but I had not marked it on Romans 12. Romans 12, 25 through 36. And all of Romans, I believe Romans 12, 11 and 12. 12, 13. It was the book of Romans. And the message was, all Israel will be saved. It's 11, 25 through 36 in all of chapter 12. And I had, if I had ever read that part of the Bible before, I, it, it didn't sink in. My father wanted me to read it again, and he wanted me to read it out loud in my native tongue. And so I read it out loud. It took a lot of effort, but the lights were already... See, the thing is, when I went to bed, I don't know how long. I'm guesstimating it was about 45 minutes earth time, because when I lay down, it was still light. The sun was still out. It was afternoon. I don't remember the time. All I know is my father said, calm down and lay down. And I was feeling anguish. Heaviness. Like I just was going to have a heart attack. 
So he said, calm down, lay down. And then by the time I woke up from this trance-like state, it was dark, pitch dark. So I grabbed my Bible and he said, turn on the light, open your eyes and read my daughter. That's how he said, my daughter. And so I'm receiving this message because I speak English and Spanish and I, and I think in both languages, but he wanted me to read it out loud in my native tongue from my Bible. And I did not know what I was going to read. So that was the message that all Israel will be saved. And Israel had 12 tribes. And in the book of Ezekiel it says, Son of man, on one stick write to Judah and all of the Israelites associated with him. And on the other stick write to Joseph and all of the Israelites associated with him. And and then it says later on that he's going to take the two sticks and the stick of Judah will be in the hand of Judah and the stick of Joseph will be in the hand of Ephraim. So Josephrim, because Joseph, Ephraim, the last will be the first. Ephraim is the last son of Jake, the Joseph, excuse me. But Ephraim is also, um, he was like adopted by by um, Jacob. Jacob took in Joseph and both his children when he was reunited with Joseph. So he blessed them both in the same order that he had been blessed, the last first and the first last. And in the book of Jeremiah 31, it says that Ephraim will be the firstborn son, his firstborn son, because the last will be the first. Benjamin is the last son of Jacob. The last will be the first. So you have to understand all of these things are happening simultaneously. The, the creatures, the living creatures, okay, which is the lion and the ox and the eagle and the human. But the order is the lion, the ox, the human, and the eagle. And the human is Benjamin which is the last son. Benjamin is the son of the right, not son of my pain. We are delivering. See, Rachel died during birth and she named the baby Benoni. And, ja and Jacob said, or Israel said, no, his name will be Benjamin, son of the right. So when Rachel delivered, she died. And but Benoni was born, coming down and then being raised by the father, his father, Jacob, Israel. And he said, you will be Benjamin, son of the right. That's how we will be. See, the, the living creatures are called living creatures for a reason. Benjamin is associated with the wolf. Judah is associated with the lion. And... Ephraim associated with the ox as well. Ephraim and Joseph and Benjamin are all related. So, and the eagle, it's like, who is the eagle? America. And I am saying this because I am certain that it is America. Because the founding fa fathers had... America blessed and they 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 wrote our constitution and all that they they did back then was foreseeing America and America is not what it was meant to be America today is not the America that they envisioned. 
because it hasn't happened yet but it but it has it's it's the thing is it has already happened but it but it hasn't in our time but it's already happened and God's a thousand of our years is like one day with God we have to understand that our perception our perception is limited this is why we need to put our all books together so we can see the bigger picture but it needs to be truth and what is truth we all have our truth with our limitations but we put it all together he's separating us and gathering us his faithful remnant so that we can make it happen see america is not uh, the america that the founding fathers envisioned yet america is not the land of the free yet in fact it never has been you see that it has not been yet but it will be america will 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 be what it was always meant to be we in america trust in god it says so on our currency we have an eagle as how we associate with freedom in the wings and flying high so we are the body we are the nations nation remember nation nations nations nation son sons son daughter daughters daughter son children all of these things okay the new jerusalem the bride coming down we are the body the bride we've been lifted and we have received more for our less and we are coming down with our blueprint which is a diamond square see if if you if you look at um blueprints from architects and how when they're drawing their you know designing their the the buildings they have everything at a 45 degree angle and it, the the square looks like a diamond like that and um yeah so he's our builder god is our builder see he's building us on top of the, his solid foundation which is the original son of god and then the apostles and not judah iscariot it is paul the last the least will be the last the last will be the first because that's where we're built on top of that the apostles okay does that make sense peter down here the foundations 12 foundations were built on top of that as an individual from within remember everything revolves around the heart here in the west we see the heart as the um the major organ the most important organ and in the east they see the liver as the center of the body in traditional Chinese medicine they see the liver because it filters everything so when we come back down we're going to be coming down and detoxing our systems beginning with the liver because we're the body remember that we're the body as as individual parts of the body the whole body so we as individual parts of the whole body we have the dna 
that the whole body has because we're part of it. And he, God is our center, our nucleus, not only as an individual part or cell, but as the whole. Does that make sense? Okay. So, we've been lifted into his heart. We're coming down to the liver to detox the systems, beginning with the liver. We have received more for our less. And we're coming down. We are the bride, the body, the, the body of humanity. We, the faithful remnant, coming down to detox the systems with our blueprint, which is a diamond square for all cities in all nations. Our new Jerusalem is a blueprint for all cities. with God in the midst of us as individuals and in the midst of us as in the communities, the cities, and the, the, the whole body of humanity. So envision Jesus because the one in us is bigger than the one in the world, right? So envision Jesus, this giant human being, right? Giant human being. And then we're all tiny, tiny, tiny little parts of the, the whole body. And he's walking the earth. Like that. Cleaning it up. You see? So the living creatures, where are they? They're encircling, right? The lamb the lamb, the wolf, Benjamin, will live with the lamb, which is the lamp. Be here and here. Heaven, earth, heart, earth, heart, earth, heart. You just take the age and take it from the end. The last will be the first. The last will be the first. The first will be the last. Then, if you take the H at the beginning and at the end, it's hearth, means fire, which is the, the floor of the fireplace. We went up into his heart and he into ours simultaneously. Simultaneously. We're birthing and being birthed simultaneously. We went up, up, up to the right, and from the inside we went into Dalit, into his heart, to the left. From our perspective, his perspective. Our perspective? His perspective. Ah. Immediately. Transformation between the three and the four. So the spirit of the living creatures is where? In the wheels. Wheels within wheels. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The wheels. We all have our own right, but it's limited. We all have our right, right? We have the right to think because we have been shaped by our surroundings, human growth and development, right? Nature and nurture. So we have abilities and disabilities and it'll all be used for his kingdom. All of it. My disabilities, I have more disabilities than abilities, but God knows my disabilities and abilities will be used for his kingdom. I hope that you can understand what I'm saying. Ah, praise the Papa and thank God for God and his mercy. Penny, yes, Penny, come here. My, my so sweetie, this is the most beautiful little princess girl. Come here, my baby girl. Is she my baby? Is she my baby girl? Oh, this is the most beauty. 
nothing. No licky licky mama. She's a princess. She understands English and Spanish. She's the most beautiful little thing. So intelligent. Okay. Yes, yeah, she's going to be in, in heaven with us. Yes, heaven on earth. Woo! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, earth is earth is earth, folks. Okay? The old is going to be gone and the new is going to be simultaneously happening simultaneously when the new is born the old will automatically be you know gone right penny is you my princess girl kissy kissy mama no licky hmm? she understands she's the most intelligent little girl yes she is my little princess girl so beautiful <laughs> penny penny <laughs> See, animals are wonderful for veterans and for children and for everybody. Everybody needs to have a pet. My son Alexander loves animals, and I wanted to so badly. I envisioned us having a little doggy, you know. And uh, but anyway, Alexander's my baby, and he's he's my beautiful son, and Jacob is my beautiful son, and I love my both my children. And I love all of you. And, uh, you know, I just want you to know that I have good news. Woo! And Paul and Jeremiah say, weep no more. We have good news for you. I see the both of them together. Always together. Paul to the left and Jeremiah to the right. Together. Greeting everybody. Praise the Lord, folks. Praise the Lord. And add, ask God to add faith to your faith and to just continue to shape you because he's our papa and he's our builder, building us.